Okay, uh, something different today. I've always wanted a uh, monster truck, uh, an old school one, and uh, the uh, bull head came into Hearn's hobbies recently, and I had to grab that. Um, same chassis as a club buster or super club buster, uh, just a different type of body on it, and more of a truck. So, uh, fortunately, I don't think we'd see this box all in one hit, but. Uh, Let's uh, slide the sucker across so the camera doesn't pull back far enough, unfortunately. So that's it there. Yeah, there's really no way to show more of this off. But uh, yeah, we'll do a bit of an unboxing of it. There's uh, a lot of stuff in here and a lot of very large stuff. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. Side. Look. Here are the rims. Uh, so each one of these squares is uh, about an inch. So I've got about four inch wide rims and about three inches in diameter. It's pretty impressive. Um, all right, um, that right. Yeah. Wow, huge. Anyway, the wheels. These are the tires. Here's a uh, Mia can of uh, spray paint. It's about the same height as that. That's the uh, that's a TS80 clear flat clear for models. Uh, yeah. Pretty impressive. some white bits and pieces on there. Probably part of the model release. Need a bit of clean up on those. There's four of those. This is the main part of the chassis. Uh, absolutely massive. Um, yeah, well, this would be interesting. To get going. Um, not a fan of the red chassis color, would have preferred a black one like the clod, but no, oh, or the super clod black edition. It looks much cooler, but uh, yeah, it'll do. If I get industrious, I might paint it. So there seems to be a lot of chrome. Um, here we've got some of the uh, air filters, uh, the grill. For the, Prime mover, exhaust stack, um, two fuel tanks, oh, yeah. massive. Knuckle steering knuckles. This thing's got uh, four-wheel drive, two motors, and four-wheel steering. So there's four uh, steering knuckles. Absolutely massive. Uh, these are the arms. Or the, um, or I guess, the opposite of the arms, the axles. So these will bring, these are attached to the dip the pumpkin and uh, come out to the outside and the steering knuckles will bolt onto these. Go from there. Another set of chrome parts. Not 100% sure what those are. To me at L. These look like 
So it's got threads on the end here. So, yeah. Roll cage maybe. Um, yeah. What's it got? Um, the bumper. Again, massive. Um, other bits and pieces. We'll work out what those are as we go. And there's two of these and that's the uh, trailing link uh, for the rear and front suspensions. And it's trailing arms. Um, these I believe are the bumpers. suspension, uh, the plastic shocks, friction shocks, if there is any friction at all maybe. Um, and then we have gear diffs or the diff housing, front and rear, two lots of those, and the dual motor mounts. And we have battery holders, some other was probably radio tray, something like that. One of the mechanical bags seems to have the uh, brushed speed controller in there, the gears. A lot of screws, springs, shock shafts. And the bag in. All right, now. Yeah piece this is the uh, tinted windscreen yeah, or tinted glass for the truck the prime mover so that should be quite impressive it's massive again and now the uh, interesting bit oh here we go the dual 540 motors um, all the middle bits uh, gears pins screws, pivot ball mounts, screw shocks and everything else, a lot of brass bits, yeah. cool. um, next is going to be the body, absolutely enormous, oh, there it is, we've got the front engine cover, the grill goes on the front there, the rear. Look at this out of the bag. There we go. That looks damn impressive. Usually with these you tend to um, have some stuff you gotta clean up, but this looks pretty damn good. Um, Looks like it's going to have a little bit of a sunroof. Let's see if I can do justice to painting this. I'm not a fan of painting solid plastic bodies on RC cars, but uh, let's see what ends up with this. Or what this ends up like. Um, yeah, pretty impressive. Um, can't wait to get stuck into it. bag with all the other bits and pieces, the manual, and the stickers, and the flames, and that looks pretty cool, ooh a fabric flag, how cool is that? Some little copper wire, I assume that uh, you can put that onto the flag. Find out, I guess. The disclaimer. But telling you. Yeah, disclaimer so if you injure yourself, it's your own fault. 
giant antenna tube. I can't believe they still send these. Everything about this is huge. Look at that. What's that? Thirty-eight centimeters. So that's thirty-eight centimeters, which is looks like it's about the length of the truck body too. Yeah, truck body longer. Uh, truck body is almost forty-one centimeters. So that's quite a long truck, and it will be absolutely massive. Caution hot stickers. There's the manual. The usual to me manual. I expect that to be pretty good quality. Up to usual to me standards. Steering servo linkages, so the dual steering. Don't know if I'm a fan of the dual steering option, but uh, that's what it comes with. Let's see if we have the option to uh, lock it out and just have normal steering. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Next thing though is um, I need bearings. These come with uh, plastic bushings, um, which are not very good. Um, I only want to build this thing once and have fun with it and not worry about it too much. So I've got a bearing kit coming. So I'll wait for that before I get started building. Um, I might start prepping the body see how we go. So there it is. Um, yeah, not a fan of the friction shocks either but uh, that's what it comes with so let's build it as is and we can replace those later on with some oil shocks. And that should be interesting. Um, a bit of fun. Yeah. Can't believe how big these tyres are either. They're massive. Anyway, that's where it is. So I've got the body, oh, there you go, roll cage, a roll hoop, there's a roll cage, the tank's on the side. So this should look pretty damn good with all the chrome on it. And the stickers. All the bits. Yeah. And yeah, I just got a... Yeah. Put it all together. And here we go. So yeah, that's about it. A giant monster truck. This should be good for a bit of fun and a bit of building therapy. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll, uh, probably do some recordings of the build process itself and uh, put those up at a later stage. Okay, see ya.